okay if you're struggling with day trading i'm going to show you how you can be more consistently profitable in the markets okay what we're going to be using for example right here is gbp usd on the one hour time frame and this you could see right here is the 50 moving average i felt like i've been talking more about the 20 and the 25 moving average but where i actually came up with those numbers was through the 50 moving average so let me show you guys how the 50 moving average works so let's go right into an empty space right here okay let's take this for example to be the 50 moving average so what the 50 moving average actually helps us to do is to detect the trend of the market so when you're actually seeing price above the 50 moving average the trend is in an uptrend and whenever i see price below the 50 moving average that means price is in a downtrend it doesn't necessarily mean you should take a buy or you should take a sell you remember when we talk about the 20 and 25 moving average by saying you should take a buy you should take a sell but this one right here is actually telling you the trend of the market let's go to the charts and let me show you how you can actually apply this on the charts okay so depending on the time you're watching this just take this as a free analysis so in this movement right here we could actually see price above the moving average remember what we said about the 50 moving average specifically whenever you see price above the 50 moving average this is actually trying to tell you that this is an uptrend so we could see right here price actually went above the 50 moving average which is actually telling us that price is in an uptrend yes price is buying or selling but it's not really like a confirmation confirmation i don't know if you understand what i mean so whenever you're actually taking a trade the second thing you're actually looking for is where are you going to close your trade okay let me show you guys so let's look at the charts right here you can see it's an uptrend the uptrend continued continued the next day continued just take a look at where where it stopped i want to ask you this question now can you actually hold your trade from that point where we started to this point right here leave your comment below you guys will see floating profits and you'll be like oh my god i need to collect it personally me too i'll i'll do the same thing i can't just hold a one hour time frame trade for three weeks which is already like the whole month so that's why i had to you know bring out the 20 and the 25 moving averages and one other thing i'll show you guys a secret tool that you can also use in getting the volatility of a certain currency pair so i've already added the moving average which the yellow one is actually the 20 moving average and the red one being the 25 moving average whenever you see price above the 20 and 25 moving average that means price is actually trying to tell you to take a buy and whenever you see price below the moving average is actually trying to tell you to take a sell in the market and one other thing you can actually cut from this is whenever you see the yellow moving average above the red moving average it's trying to tell you to take a buy and whenever you see the red moving average above the yellow moving average price is actually trying to tell you to actually take a sell so both of these things actually works okay if you remember what we said the 50 moving average is actually used to show you the trend of the market while the 20 and the 25 moving average actually tells you when to take those buy entries and when to actually take those sell entries so let's dive into the charts and see how this actually works so we could actually see right here price actually told us to take an entry right here both the 20 and the 25 moving average the 50 moving average here was telling us to take a buy so what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be following the instructions of the 20 and the 25 moving average but what we're going to be using the 50 moving average to do is to actually detect the trend of the market so we could actually see right here price told us to take an entry and since that point right there we could actually see price above the moving average price above the moving average which is telling you to take your trade hold your trade and you could see that price was actually buying until we saw price go down below past the yellow moving average past the red moving average but what actually happened here it actually got to the white 50 moving average but price could not break through it so this is just like the white moving average actually telling you that hey price is still in that uptrend from that point there we could actually see that continuation price going above the red and the yellow moving average immediately right there um we could actually see some little retracement 
until price goes below whenever price actually goes below the 20 and the 25 moving average what you want to do at that point is that you want to close your trade if you're finding it hard understanding candlestick just change the candlestick you're using the normal candlestick to Heiken Ashi. Heiken Ashi will actually make it much more easier for you. Whenever you see more of green candles, it's an uptrend. And whenever you see the more of red candles, it's actually a downtrend. The Heiken Ashi candlestick is not used in MetaTrader 4. You know, MetaTrader 4 is just to limit someone. So whenever you see, you know, price above the 15 moving average, you will see more of green candlesticks and whenever you see price actually below the moving average you actually see more of downtrend just so in case you're actually getting confused in the market you can easily use the high and ashi candlesticks so in this case since the 50 moving average is actually helping you to detect the trend of the market what you use the high and ashi candlestick is to find the point of retracement in the market so whenever you see um price above the 50 moving average of course you'll be wanting to see more of green candlestick but mainly you see big red candlestick you know know that there's actually kind of like a retracement that is about to happen or just like a change in trend that is about to happen so let's let's check this out here so you could actually see this point where there was a retracement you know price actually went below and you know actually we test the um 50 moving average but the 50 moving average was still able to tell us that hey this is an uptrend continue buying the market and we could actually see you know the 50 moving average pushing price up let's go into another point in the market we could actually see this point we we're actually seeing you know those little red candlesticks coming bit by bit until they had to show in their full set so when that happened you know that there's actually a retracement we see more of green candles that's actually a trend in the market then red candlestick retracement i think i need to do that again more of green candlestick retracement more of green candlestick retracement now i've showed you all these things but to make your success rate actually much more higher i'm going to be showing you guys one bonus tip so if you're watching this video to this moment right here you're actually getting this bonus tip you have to go to google ah you guys are actually seeing what i'm moving to searching for right now currency stream meter and when you get to currency stream meter you actually go to this one right here www.livechats.co.uk so this is the one you actually have to you know get into and this is actually a free website you don't need to pay anything it's free to get the information here so let's let's use this for example so we could actually see the different currencies here so what this actually is is currency strength meter so this actually help you to you know further determine you know which one is much more going to be stronger as you can see here there's actually four sides of strength it is actually at the bottom right now so the currencies that are actually most strong at this point is the australian dollar um you can actually form a pair right here so this is aud this is usd so combine them together is actually aud usd so when you're checking your charts at this point in time you actually see aud having more strength in the charts in the charts than the usd although this is around five 04 a.m this is 504 a.m so the london session has not yet opened it's actually the asian session that's why you could actually see you know asian session pairs going on you know winning the market here you can see aud is actually at this full point here jpy is at this full point here nzd at the full point real is just you know it's not a session but anyway it's what it is in the live chat right here we could actually see that aud has more strength than the euro so what we have to do right now is that we have to check on the charts and see if AUD is actually stronger than the euro so let's go back to trading view so from what i'm actually seeing here i'm actually seeing that this pair will be a whack pair let me check it okay not bad not bad so let's go into the recent point so whenever you see something like australian dollar and euro the price that is actually here is the euro and whenever price is going down that means the euro is stronger but when you see um price going up that means the australian dollar is actually stronger it's actually a life strength meter so life strength meter so whatever that is actually happening in the chat and we could actually see that you know price is actually having an option a little uptrend 
the currency stream meter actually told us that AUD is stronger than Euro. And even right on the charts at this point here, we could actually see that AUD is stronger than Euro. Let's look for another pair that is, you know, that is tripping right now. We could actually see that USD is stronger than Euro. Euro is just at the last button and USD is actually, you know, stronger. So let's go back. Let's go to a currency pair that we know. So let's get back into things. So we could actually see Euro at the front and we can see US dollar at the back so this price you're actually seeing here is in us dollar so whenever you see price in an option that's trying to tell you that the euro actually has more strength then when you see price going down that is actually trying to tell you that usd is actually having much more strength and right on the chart we could actually see for the past three hours price is actually going down you can actually use the currency stream meter to also plan your trades um take those entry with the 50 and the 25 moving average okay so if you guys actually gain value from this video make sure you hit the like button because it actually helps the youtube algorithm to actually push this video more and um if you guys are not your part of the family make sure you hit the red subscribe button be part of the family because i actually drop nuggets like this and also if you want to use the super v4x broker that's regulated make sure you check the description of this video and so with that being said i'll catch you guys in another video peace